Hey guys, it's beer review time once again, and we're onto a new box. And I decided uh, we're doing the beers of the world box. And um, yeah, I've had oh, had a really shit day today, to be honest. So I thought I would go to the motherland. Um, and we're looking at this one. Uh, it's a Marula beer from South Africa. And there's an article quite quite eye-opening article in there about South Africa and how they're uh, yeah how they're doing farmhouse kind of style beers but this is interesting because it's Barula so it has um, yeah it has fruit it's made from a fruit so the sugar essentially for this beer or a bit of the sugar should I say uh, Dolakasi is the name of the brewery Marula Farmhouse Ale. Um, and we will have a look at this. Oh, oh pardon me. Um, okay, so do, 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 is it a South African uh, inspired farmhouse ale? Uh, sorghum malt used in the grain bill. A marula flavour supports the spicy characteristics of the yeast type. It doesn't actually say what the yeast is. Um, but we've got barley, we've got sorghum, <laughs> as opposed to the, um, yeah, the oats and the wheat. Uh, hops, yeast, marula puree. And this was made, uh, brewed and canned. In the EU somewhere, it doesn't say where, and then imported uh, by beer 52. So we don't know where this was brewed. Um, four and a half percent, uh, no pregnant African ladies. Um, should be absolutely ridiculous. I quite like the style of this. Um, but the Tolakasi uh, motto is celebrating Africa through beer. I think that's kind of cool. Um, and the fact that they're using fruit for extra, you know, for getting some extra stuff in is pretty cool. And look at that. I think that's quite, I like the, the styling. It's kind of tribal design. It's quite mellow. Yeah, kind of cool. Um, the hops in here, I believe, are Magnum, uh, which is, yeah, pretty good. It's pretty good for like bittering and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty general generic hop. So it's not gonna. Oh, it's not used as, yeah, a, a dry hopping hop, for example. I mean, you could do, but um, it's not a renowned one. Put it that way. It's more of a bittering hop. Um, boom. There we go. Oh, right. Let's get this bad boy into a glass. It's a farmhouse house, so I'm assuming it's kind of like a Saison in style. And that's kind of what it's being advertised for, but it's got fruit, fruit extract in it. Which is kind of cool too. And like I said, it's the, um, I said it's the motherland, but actually it's the fatherland. Because my dad, um, yeah, was from Africa. Ooh, here we go. Come on. Or should I say, he wasn't from Africa. His dad was uh, from Africa, born in Africa. So there's African in me, mate, eh? Hey? Right. Half a finger's head, shall we say? And the combination's quite, I mean, it's, I've been in the fridge, so it's got a bit of chill haze, I'd call that, but otherwise it's pretty clear. But look at that. Look at the combination. It's pretty good. I mean, you can kind of see me, it's not super clear. Um, but the carbonation's reasonably good, not too aggressive. But uh, yeah, not too bad either. But my God, this is all about the fruit and the marula fruit. Um, I don't know if you can get it over here in the UK. If you went to London and went to <coughs> one of those African uh, kind of shops, you could probably get some. But it's really interesting that um, they're using fruit uh, in a beer. Um, 
I guess there are examples of using grapes and grape juice in beer and apples as well, and apple juice um, mixed mixed in to get it. It's all about the sugars, isn't it? It's all about getting the extra sugars in. But I guess there's some flavour stuff as well, and there's definitely aroma. Mmm, it smells very sweet. Um, it's, it's definitely it's unique kind of aroma, but kind of a bit like a peach, that sort of thing. <coughs> and when you look at them, they're these little kind of green, they look a bit like green kind of plums or green, green gauges, maybe green plums. Cheers and beers. When you've had a rubbish day, all you need is a good beer and hopefully it will put the world in order. You never know. You can't do any worse than, yeah, the day I've had. So cheers and beers, guys. Oh. So similar to the nose, Hmm. Similar to the nose, the fruit kind of plays the main fiddle there, but I can definitely taste some spiciness there. And I'm thinking sorghum, the sorghum kind of what we're going to call it, sorghum wheat, sorghum grain um, is probably giving that. But I think maybe the farmhouse yeast is also because um, although it's. Although the fruit is there does have a little bit of dryness, kind of similar to a pale ale, similar to a lagery kind of thing. Um, quite a good amount of bitterness too, uh, which is nice. And there is still some semblance of a kind of lime going on there, which is, well, wow, that, that looked like some sort of weird Sanskrit character there, but that is just a semi lime. Let's dive in for some more. Cheers, Lydia. Like all things African, um, and to some degree, I in, include Nigerian Guinness uh, in this. There are some kind of unique flavours going on. Um, but it's definitely like a fruit. Yeah, it's like a fruit beer. Um, a lot of them in Belgium, you can get the fruit beers like uh, Fruits of the Fruits of the Forest, is it called? Um, that Ho Garden one. Um, really nice, but other bit, other bit brands are available. <laughs> but yeah, unique kind of thing. Um, am I one for the fruit beers? Mm, don't know, don't know. <sighs> Quite a good amount of carbonation, as I said already. I don't think I could drink loads of these, but it's definitely showcasing the Marula style. It's, it is like a fresh kind of saison but with, with fruit in it, which is, I guess, exactly what it is. Um, really clean, really crisp. I've had it in the fridge for a while on a nice sunny day. That's going to fucking taste absolutely lovely. Um, could I drink loads of them in a row on a session? Don't think so. Um, and the alcohol is under five, isn't it? 4.5, did I say? Uh, yeah, 4.5. So it's not going to do any damage, really. Oops, he says hitting the camera. Sorry about that, dear viewer. Cheers and beers. Look at the lacing on that bad boy. It's got some weird sort of lines going up and down. But at the bottom there, and up the back of the glass, we definitely have some lovely kind of lacing. So there we go. That is the uh, the first beer from Beer of the World, uh, Tolakazi Marula Farmhouse Ale. Um, what would I score it out of five? It's definitely 
definitely a good beer. I've no idea about the style at all. The only thing I can think is it's like a kind of Saison beer. Um, and then, you know, are you doing some ridiculous kind of, um, yeah, fruitiness and that kind of stuff? I know some people do that to their Saisons, especially, um, especially home brewers that I know. Um, Saison is a good starting point um, to do some wild experimentation. Epic. Anyway, this has been Uncle Jonah drinking beers of the world. So you guys don't have to, or you could drink along. Um, I will return for more beer reviews real soon. Um, and until then, why not join me in the comments? Have you ever had a Marula beer before? Hmm. I'll be back with another beer review real soon.